Hey everyone, this is my collection of Skubes and Skube mods. Here we have a basic Skube mod, pillowed Skube. They all work the same though, one, two, three turns, gets you around at the same side. As well as a uh, holy Skube. You can see right through. And as well as some picture mods the skew as well. There's several different variations of the skew that has pictures of different cartoon characters and things like that on them, as well as a couple of other things as you can see in here. Let's spread it out and see them all. Here's the skews all together on the table. In the back you can see a bunch of Jing's Pyraminxes and also some uh, Tony Fisher's Golden Cubes in the back. There's several duplicates, and, but there are some interesting puzzles in here, so let's remount the camera and take a closer look. Okay, closer up. It starts off with the skube itself. Here's one. The way the internals go, one, two, three turns, and it's back to its original position. That's where it all starts. All of these have a skube on the inside. This is just a pillowed variation of the same thing. If you like things that are rounder. They had to split up these stickers in order to make sure that they fit on the on this puzzle without any kind of bubbling. Some people don't like this variation. Uh, I, I understand what they're talking about. It's not as attractive as just a regular sticker on this whole side would be. But if it's the choice between this and bubbling, then I'd, I think I'd rather have this. This is a hex cube where you change up some of the corners of it. This is the regular variation of it, but the reason this one was made was because of this puzzle over here by the band Muse. They decided they wanted a special promotion for their album, The Resistance, and so they had this commissioned from the person who invented this puzzle, Tony Fisher, and Mefferts, uh, Mefferts uh, published this puzzle. and. You can buy it if you like puzzles or you like Muse. Really interesting. It's probably the the strangest combination between puzzles and and popular media that I've ever seen. It it really came out of left field that Muse would want this puzzle, but it's really cool that they did, and the design is nice on it. There are the these eggs right here, uh, also invented by Tony Fisher. These are really shiny, <laughs> really shiny. The, the most special one that I have is this one over here. This is a silver gold combination on this puzzle. I, I was going to get a couple more of these, but they sold out so quickly that I wasn't able to do that. This, I think, was the first version of this puzzle to sell out. I think that surprised a lot of people. This is a skewed spherical version of the puzzle from Mefferts. This is a black one. Works the same. It looks like these are handles on the sides, but like you could grab onto them, but it's just raised bumps on the sides to make it a little more interesting to mix up. There were a bunch of Disney characters that got put on these puzzles as well. This is one of the many from Lion King. And they put Mickey on one and some more Lion King ones over here. But it's all essentially the same thing. And this is what happens when you mix up a skew and a skew ultimate pieces. You get something like this. Inside it's really just a skew, but the corners are changed up. And then if you mix the pieces the other way, you get this puzzle as well. It's a very strange looking puzzle. And essentially it's really just the company looking to reuse parts and make a different puzzle out of them, which which is definitely understandable. Excuse me. This one technically works like a skew, but actually there isn't really a skew design on the inside of it. It's all just a big shell, but it works just like a skew. And this is the same thing. It works like a skew. This is a zodiac zodiac ball. Over here, 
The James Paramedics is in the back. Has pink on one of the sides. <laughs> the Jing is referring to Uve's uh, Uve's wife Jing, and that's also why there's pink on it <laughs> because it's uh, dedicated to her. There's a holy scube in the back, where you can see right through it, and also a pillowed variation of the same thing. So if you like pillowed puzzles, then you could get this one. If you don't, then you can get this one. There's skewed diamonds. These used to be really rare, but they've recently come back and gotten reproduced by, by Mefferts, and so now these are not rare anymore. And there's sometimes uh, strange variations that are made. This is a type of a football, American football type of puzzle. It still has a, a skewed design on the inside, but the shape is much different. And also, this is like a skewed diamond, except they, there were cubies that were pasted on some of the sides. The Tony Fisher's Golden Cube at the back, this is the rarest version of this puzzle. This is the white version. This was a limited edition to an already kind of limited edition puzzle. There were not many of these white ones made. And in the back, there's a different couple of variations. This is my favorite looking one out of all of them. This just looks like a regular cube, and there are stickers on this one. The only problem with a, a puzzle like this is that there's a lot of sharp corners for the stickers, especially for this sticker right here, and so they're going to peel off pretty easily, but, well, relatively easy compared to, you know, a regular Rubik's Cube, but it still looks really nice, and it's shiny. That's, that's really nice as well. Let's see if I missed anything. I think that is it, yes. So these are my puzzles of Skubes and Skube mods.